guys, me and Tammy are doing a haul and review on the new MAC collection. This is the MAC Alluring Aquatics collection. Hope I said that right. I can never get these names right. Um, I am absolutely in love with this collection. It's the first collection I've actually gone and purchased because it's extremely expensive to buy MAC products. So I don't want to just go and buy all the collections just to have them. This is the first one I've actually felt the need to have to buy. I didn't get all the things, I got just a couple, just the stuff I would use, the stuff I like, just the kind of thing that I could actually use. So I'm going to show you what I got and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I'm just going to pick it up randomly and I will tell you the prices if I have the whole slip. Altogether, it was very expensive. Um, say puppy, hi baby. Off you go. Okay. Alright. So the first thing I'm just gonna pick random. The first thing I got was the MAC blush. And this is in um Aphrodite's shell. I hope I get this name right, guys. I'm so sorry if I get them completely wrong. Chances are that we're gonna be like that, but I'm sorry. This is just a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. It is quite light, it's perfect for fairer skin such as me. Just chewing my hairbrush. I'm just gonna know. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. I am wearing it today along with the blush. Um, it is absolutely amazing. It's perfect for, like I said, fair skin. You can just bronze up your skin nicely. Not so much contouring, more just bronzing. And I have, I have been enjoying this, especially now that it's winter. And I'm obviously getting more pale, so a darker blush isn't going to work too well. So I am enjoying this. I do wish I got the dark one more for the summertime. But I didn't, and it would have just been... A little bit of a waste of money because I wouldn't be able to use it right now. But it is an amazing blush. It does have fine, like, shimmer. Not even a shimmer. It's like more of a satin finish. It is absolutely a beautiful on the skin. It gives you a nice, um, dewy finish, a nice glow. It's not chunky, glittery looking thing. And it is actually perfect for everyday use. And then, oh, another face product. I got the blush in Seduced at Sea. Seduced at Sea, sorry. And then again, I'm wearing it today. I have got a tutorial up with this video. It is actually a collab. So you guys just need to check it out. It will be up just after this sometime soon. This is the blush that I, re I received. I bought. I didn't receive it. I wish I received it. <laughs> um, I hope you can see it. Then again, this also has more of a satin finish. It is absolutely gorgeous. A little bit more peachy. They had another very pink one. Um, this is the peachy one. And it was something more that I was looking for because I have a pink and I have like a bronzy one. I just wanted something a little bit more peachy. Um, as for the packaging, sorry, the packaging is absolutely amazing. I was drawn to the packaging, but I'm more drawn to the product than the packaging, I must say. It is very, very cool. It's like water droplets. It definitely is a perfect, it's supposed to be a summer collection. I mean, I'm in winter at the moment, but it's definitely a little bit more wintry to me. I don't know. It might just be me. I thought for like the Playland collection was a bit more summery. But anyway, I still do love the collection and I'll definitely get the use out of it. Then I got three eyeshadows. I didn't get all six. I didn't want all six. I wasn't too keen on the green. I mean, I do have the Stila palette and it's practically all green shades. And I'm not, I don't use green too often. Can you see my dog chewing up my hairbrush? And I, be, I have to leave it there. I was just going to bark at me as I give it back. And then try to film a video. So these are the three that I got. I will go through them. I have got two on today. Um, I'll show you the two I have on today. The first one is Lorelei. And I do feel like most people were drawn to Lorelei. Just because it's one of the most naturalist colours. Not natural, but it's more everyday use. Um, I was definitely drawn to this one the most. Um, it is gorgeous gorgeous and I have used quite a bit of it but this is just the color it is like a champagne with a little bit of a peachy undertone I want to say especially on my skin like I'll do a swatch for you um it just looks like that please excuse my hands I do have eczema guys I'm sorry um that is just the shade it's a little bit more peachy on my skin tone I don't know about other skin tones but I mean I'm quite fair and obviously it is different on everyone, but this is gorgeous. This is a perfect lid color. I have it on today. I don't know if you can see too well. Um, and it is absolutely beautiful. I've been wearing it pretty much every single day since I bought this collection. I've been using it. I am in love. Probably in love. 
And then the other one I have on today is Fathoms. Fathoms Deep? Is that even how you say it? Please, oh, you can't even let me know because reading it's not going to help. <laughs> um, and this is, these are the two that I wanted the most. Um, are the eyeshadows. And I can't get it out of this box. Why? Uh oh, we have a malfunction. Okay. So this color is gorgeous. I'll do a swatch of it as well. So this one is like a bluey purple brown. I don't even know if that, it's metallic y. It's gorgeous. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. That is the color there. The payoff of these eyeshadows are a lot better than I thought they would be. Um, because they are more of a metallic finish, sometimes they come a little bit chalky or patchy. But these are really going to. And I was surprised because I definitely wanted to test them in the shop. I wasn't going to go and buy stuff online. Because when you think metallic, a lot of metallic um, eyeshadows can come almost like crumble, if that makes sense. And I was pleasantly surprised it does not crumble. Because um, I was kind of thinking it would. But I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay, then the last one that I did buy is in Soul Surrender. Which has a little bit more of a greeny undertone to it. Um, but I do still love it. And I will have a tutorial up with this one very soon. That is the colour there. Ah! I'm terrible doing swatches. Um, it's a little bit more... It's kind of like a blacky green. Like You could do a good smoke eye with these shades. I did create one. I was playing around with these the other day. Um... The girl of Matt that works in Mac, I actually studied, we studied makeup together at college. And she was like, oh, you know, I can't wait to buy it as well some players. I give no idea. All I want to do is play with it. I'm so excited. And it is, it is nice knowing a few of the people that work there. Because then you can really get an honest opinion on the product. Also, I know how she works. I know the kind of things she likes. She knows exactly what I like. And we kind of sat there and played around with the products. And she goes, oh, this is just for you. No, no. And I was like, oh, no. And it was... It was amazing. So Jace, if you ever watch this video, thank you. Okay, then I got two lipsticks. And this is the one in Goddess of the Sea. Now, when I saw it online, I was like, mm, I have Cyber, I have Rebel. Do I actually want another purple? So going into the store, I was like, I'm not even going to bother or whatever. But let me tell you this color. Oh, I fell in love. And you know, now that I look at all the products, if I could only buy one product, I would have bought this. I'll do a swatch of this for you. This colour on fair skin is gorgeous. I will have a video up with it, I promise. Um, please look at that. Okay, it's showing all very pink on the screen, and I don't know why. But this is Goddess of the Sea. This is so gorgeous. It is just like it's like a rebel with a little bit of cyber, more of a purple like cyber, less red like rebel. <sighs> Mixed in a tube of magic. I got the last one of this as well. Do you know there was only out for one day the whole collection crazy and i didn't think max sold out quickly in south africa because a lot of people don't buy makeup like that or they don't really shop at like mac or whatever just because well the thing is if you go to like a drugstore makeup it is pretty much the same price as mac so you're kind of not really paying much of a difference really like it depends what you're buying i guess so i was surprised that especially this kind of color was sold out pretty darn quick then I got pet me please which I'm wearing at the moment and this <gasps> my mum was like it's a nude though <laughs> when I was buying it I was like yes mum it's a nude I want a nude she goes but you can just wear like lip gloss or something no mum it doesn't work that way <laughs> um but this is the colour <sighs> and this is like a champagne this is like the MAC I'll show you pink colour base in shell but a lipstick version I'll show you this is Max Shell. There. And that is. I'll swatch them right next to each other. Okay, it's a little bit more pink. But please just have a look at that. How cool. So you could do a shell frost type thing. And that. This. Alright. That is Shell Cream Sheen Base. Cream Sheen Base. And this is the. Lipstick. <laughs> this lipstick is gorgeous. It is so beautiful. It's kind of a little bit dark, so it works on fair skin. Um, because I'm not 
I'm not mad about like completely having my lips disappear because then I look sick or something. Like it, it just does not suit me at all. Um, and this has a little bit of a pink tone to it, and then it's also got a little bit like a bronzy look to it. I don't know how to explain it, but it is gorgeous. It is. Sorry, my number one lipstick. I am so in love with it. Then I got one liner, and I was looking for a nude liner just so I can overdraw my lips because I have extremely small lips, like. And I like wearing Cyber Rebel, but I do want to overdraw my lips so I can fill them in bigger. And this one I thought... I was a little bit hesitant on it. Um, just because of the colour. I'll show you the colour. I'll do a nice swatch of it. It's like a orangey type nude. But then I tried it on. And I was like, oh, is it going to work? Is it going to work? But let me tell you, it works. It does its job. I will get more of like a natural nude um, for if I'm going to do like good overdrawing. But if I fill my lip in with this and then put a dark color or something over, or even this nude, it definitely still does work. Um, I do love it. But also, I don't want to use this every single day because it's going to be gone so quickly. So I do want to get more of like a pinky one and like a brownie one just so I can play around and find the good one for more everyday use because I don't know if this would be an everyday overdrawing lip colour. It's just my my thoughts on it. Um, that is all I actually got from the collection. I am so in love with the collection, like I said. Um, I hope this video helps if you want to purchase stuff. I'm pretty sure it's pretty much all gone. I'm a little bit late on the filming bandwagon. But um, yeah, I know it is an amazing, amazing collection. And I'm glad it was my first one I ever bought, I won't lie, because, um, I mean, I, I was going to buy the Rihanna one, I looked at the Rihanna one, and I was just like, I'm a little fair for some of these things, and it's expensive, and, you know, I'd rather wait and see what comes out. So I do not regret not buying the Rihanna one, I do not regret not buying other ones. Um, I did look at the Pearland collection when I was there, but I was more blown away by this one. Also, a bonus, the packaging is adorable. I'm so in love with packaging. It is amazing. Can I just tell you? I never thought you could do that, literally. But anyway, that is what I bought, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And I want to thank you all so much for the support so far. Um, you know, I know it's not crazy stuff and all. Like, I've got thousands of people watching my videos. But for the few of the, 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 the few of you that are, thank you all so much. And a lot of you have been very encouraging. And I was actually quite surprised because, I mean, my videos aren't amazing. But I'm starting out. It's new. It's... I will get there, I definitely will get much better at it, but it does take time, and if any of you have got channels, or you're starting out, or you want to start out, or anything, please let me know, I love looking at new channels, um, a lot of you that have contacted me about your channels, thank you so much, I do reply back, for most of you, if you don't get my replies, please let me know, and I'll re-reply, um, but I will definitely keep in touch with all of you, and thank you all so much for keeping me in the loop too, with what you guys are doing, and all of that, because it does, it helps a lot. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Bye.